Hello, welcome to Spy Money. Let's talk about our new addition to Sweet Scalper Bot. And I've added this to all the bots. Uh, I think Sweet Scalper is going to be our number one bot that we use. Um, I've always liked Sweet Scalper. It's always been um, part of me as far as my normal trading. It's probably one of my favorite trading strategies. I run this on two micros. A lot of people ask, you know, can I trade micros? And a lot of people have, you know, very small accounts. And, you know, the ultimate goal is to make 50% of your trade. So if you're trading two contracts, which I did on this one, uh, two contracts would be $200. So your goal would be to make $100. A lot of people have uh, funded accounts. And this would work really well with a funded account because you won't blow your account. Uh, you know, it, it does a pretty good job. You're... Yeah, you know, if you do have a losing trade, it's not very much money, and then but it will usually get 50% of your trade. So if you're trading just a couple of micros, maybe you have a $25,000 account or something like that that's smaller, then you could easily trade this on those accounts. This will get you, you know, all you need. If you're trading two contracts, your goal is to make $100. If you know, I'll run this one up a little bit more. But let me show you the trades and, and how it works. The sweet scalper itself has the signals green. The teal lines are your longs and your white are your shorts. But it depends on the background. So the background is what is determining the trend of the trade. So in this case, it had two of them. And this was actually up $37 per, contra or, uh, per trade. And you could have taken it if you want, but I left this untouched. I want you to know that the bot run itself, there was no um, hands-on with it at all. The only thing I did was pause the bot, and that's all. Uh, so we had two losses right out of the gate, and I think that was like $34, $35 total. Reversing. And then we had another short, so you can see that we have the gray background. So when it's white bars, <clears throat> it will take the short. So, And these are predetermined. Uh, targets. So, you know, the ticks that we're going on, the targets depends on our spy money bar up here. We're running a 30. So it takes out a lot of the uh, chop that you normally would see on a smaller time frame. It takes a little bit longer to get in the trade, but it does a pretty good job. So here's a winner. Here's a winner. At this point, these two right here was um, almost at your $100, I believe. So these are, I think they're um, 6, 12, 122. Or um, twenty. I see. I, I can't remember Reversing. how much that is. Let me look here. Let's do this because I can't do math. I never trade micros, so you're looking sixty dollars each. So that's going to be a hundred and twenty dollars there, and then we were thirty four dollars, I think, in losses here. But if you'd have taken the thirty dollars, you know, you could have been hit your profit target right here. Then we go up. This one right here actually hit the profit target of the fifty percent goal. I went ahead and continued to let it run <clears throat> to see where, where it would go. So we come over here, we had a loss. I think it was $142 before we had this loss. And then it picked up this one. And then we had a loss here. And then we come over, we picked up this one here. And my target was down here. And I wanted to move it down because I knew it was going down to this level. But I didn't move it. I just left it hands off. That way you can see the bot did it all. So right now, this one would have been in another trade here, right now. And with this trade, uh, your entry had been there. The most you could have gotten so far is $26. So it's it was $4 away from hitting the target. So if we come on down to right here, actually it would have to be right there because it has to go one tick past. So if the price comes down to right here, then that's another $60 that it would have made. So that would put you over $200. There it is. That would put you up over your 100% profit. So think of it this way. If you're trading this on minis, you would be at $1,590 plus another $600 here. So it's actually pretty easy to make money with this. And it's all about your... You know, relative to what you're trading. Micros, you're not going to make, you know, $1,500 uh, on a couple of contracts. You're going to make, you know, our goal is to hit the 50%. If we hit 50%, you ought to just shut it off. And that's what I did. And, you know, we're, um, I don't know, 77% right here. But I went ahead and just paused it. This would have been over 100% there. 
but I pause it because I want to show you that when you hit your goals, you need to not say, well, it's trading great. I'm just going to keep on trading today. When you hit your goal, you need to stop. And that's part of your risk management. If you lose X amount of dollars, you need to shut it off. It's not your day. And then maybe later that day, you see that it's trading pretty good. You turn it back on. And if you make a good trade, you go ahead and take another one. And, and a lot of times you can come out of the hole that way and, and do better. Because at the open, it's not always good trading. Uh, today, it was. You know, right at the open, we had this right here, a little bit of chop, and then finally it just started selling off. So, but both of these were profitable if you wanted to touch them. And honestly, this one, I wanted to go ahead and take it out when it popped out. I wanted to put my stop up here, but I didn't because I want you to see this is hands off. So again, <clears throat> we go back over, we look at this. What we can do is we can add our levels in. And what we do is we add our balance and we add our floor trader and we add the IB we add levels auto and I come down I like to see the VWAP I don't trade the VWAP but I just want to see it on the chart so when I add these in that's going to put all these levels on here so this one you can see right here is where I wanted to put my profit target and if I wasn't doing this for a recording I would have moved it down so I could have made them more money uh, and that would be what we would do so instead of making the thirty dollars we would have come down and put it right before the level and that would have been a hundred and sixty one dollars that we could have made instead of sixty dollars so that would be another hundred dollars that we could have made off of two micros just by moving it to a level so a lot of people ask me about backtesting and so forth. And the problem with backtesting is we always look back to make sure that the bot is trading correctly. And what I mean by trading correctly is that the market, the market may not be ready to turn a bot on. So we can't do that. So it's you we can't backtest 30 days on X time to X time because it's not always when we're going to run bots. I also teach how to move your profit targets and your stops according to what's going on in your chart. This one right here is a perfect example. If we enter there, we would want a profit target down here. And it actually come down and hit it. Right now, if we were entering this one, our profit target would be down here. So instead of making the $60, there's a potential to make $104 here. So right down here is where our profit target would be. Right now, our stop would be right here. If it goes up and hits it, we'd make a little less than the 60 But more than likely, we're going to right here. And you can pick up extra money by con manually controlling your bot just a little bit. And it's all about these levels. So when you see these levels, you know how to trade. And I teach how to trade the levels. And these levels are all automatic. The uh, purple ones here, these magenta color ones, those are my personal levels. I have an indicator that you put on your chart, and it will check my server for my levels that I give you. So... These are all automatic. There's nothing on here that you have to know how to do other than install the indicator. So it helps you out. And then the only thing you have to do is just trade to your levels. And I teach how to do that. So using a bot under, you know, a lot of people want to know what your backtesting results and this and that. And that's not the way we trade bots. Uh, we like to trade it according to what our price action is on the chart. And that's according to our levels. So right now we would still be in this trade even though our target would have been hit and this one right here we would have made more so let's go back to another one this one right here we would have brought it down to at least right here on the balance maybe even down to here so we would have picked up a little extra money there uh, if we go back to this one over here this one we would have picked up our profit target up here so instead of making profit here at 60 we could have picked up an extra you know 15 20 dollars there so, you know, it's all about how you trade. This one right here, we would have put it down here. There's a little extra you can get. This one, we would have put down to here. That's a little extra we would have got. Um, this one right here, you know, where it come down, uh, you know, this one, we would have put our profit target right up here or here, one of these two levels. It never hit it, so more than likely these would have been bad ones anyway. But that's how we trade our bots. Um, I like to use hands off just to let you know what a bot will do. 
but a bot will always make more money if you adjust it, the profit targets and such going to the levels. So and that's what we like to see everybody do, and that's how everybody does it. So back testing results don't work that way because we just don't trade bots the way a lot of companies do. We have a little bit more involved on it, and it actually does a better job. So how do you get started? Well, you can go to the Ninja Suite. You click this up here. It'll open up this. I updated the bots, so it now shows all the bots that we have. And we also have the indicators. We've got a few more indicators. We've got our Spy Money trade copier. But our bots uh, will trade up to 31 accounts at the same time. The bot will actually enter the trade quicker than a trade copier because the trade copier is, is third one uh, I won't say third party because we own it and made it but it's an actual add-on that the bot has to send the signal to that and then it has to send the signal so we're having it inside the bot it as soon as it enters it sends it to all accounts at one time there's no delay a lot of questions in here that I get uh, if you read through this this will probably answer every one of your uh, questions that you have if not you can go up here to the contact us when you click on contact us fill this out let me know what questions you have if you need to speak to me put your phone number best time eastern time because that's what I'm on and if I can I'll call you then we also have uh, VPS so VPS is if you have a slow computer or if you want a better executions, my server is located at the uh, close to the new or the um, Chicago Exchange. So it's in Chicago. Whenever you sign up for it, uh, you'll have better executions because you are closer, and it's also remote, so you can get on the VPS using your phone or your tablet. You can access it, and also if you go to say your work computer and home computer you can just have everything right here so you don't have to constantly update different ones you know, keep one and it's much easier funded accounts if you don't have the money to trade or maybe you just want to trade someone else's money and take a smaller percentage we have four different ones here if you're wanting something with the fastest money you profit is going to be the fastest because they only have five day evaluation Take profit is the same as you profit the way they work, except take profit takes eight days. Blue Sky, has, after you pass it in eight days, you get a live trading account. This is not something uh, like the, these other three. They use live SIM accounts whenever you get your live account. The Blue Sky gives you a live brokerage account after you pass. And then you get one more step, which is making your say on a fifty thousand, you have to make three thousand dollars. Once you get the fifty-three, they put you in a live trading account. Uh, in my opinion, Blue Sky has more advantage of helping you get a live trading account because they get a percentage of that. These other three do not have that. Uh, they actually make more money if you keep blowing accounts. So, in my opinion, Blue Sky I think is. Um, possibly one that will take over of all of them apex has 20 accounts that's one good part about it blue sky does not you can have 20 accounts here so if you're just trading the micros like i did today you can put it on 20 accounts and let it trade that way and do very well uh, if you made uh, 200 dollars on each account 20 accounts is four thousand dollars a day that you can make but it does take a lot longer to get paid with apex good company all four companies are good I wouldn't have any bad companies up here. They all have their pluses and minuses with each one. Uh, right here you can look and see what the difference is between them. And then there's also discounts that you can click on. Apex is now 80%, not 90%. And the Blue Sky is 40, 40, and uh, U Profit, I believe, is uh, 50. I believe that's what they're doing right now. So they're all working pretty good and it just depends on what you want there's nothing better than a live trading account so if you want in my opinion probably the best thing to do is open up a live trading account put on the sweet scalper trade two micros that's only two hundred dollars and then just trade it you, know, you hit your hundred dollars a day or or two hundred or whatever you want to do and then just 
call it a day. So if you make um, $65 a day, that will pay for your lease. So anything over 65 a day is your profit. So if you're trying to make an extra, say, $1,000 a month or so, then you would only have to make about $100 a day. And that would get you the targets you want. If you make $500 a day, which is not that much when you really think about how this would work, $500 a day would make you about $10,000 a month. And that, so it doesn't really take a lot. You don't have to come in here and knock it out and make 10000 a day or anything like that. Uh, if you just make, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars a day, uh, that will pay for your lease and also give you a good amount of money per month. Most people, um, I think, from what my understanding, most people make about three thousand dollars a month. So three thousand dollars a month, that's as far as in their job. So three thousand dollars a month. So if you made, say, two hundred and fifty dollars a day, that would be more money than what you would make on your regular job. So 250 a day would be $5,000 a month. So it's a pretty good uh, little game here. As long as you have the bots that will enter the trade where you need to and get out and be uh, consistent with the money, then that's all you need. And this one is. The Sweet Scalper does a really good job. You will have some losing trades in here. You'll have bigger winning trades if you know how to move your targets, which we move them based off of our levels. You can see... You hit the level right here and bounced up. We come down here and we're just chopping right along this level. And this level here did the same thing. So my levels are very accurate and that's what you want to trade to. And it'll help you out. If you have any questions, like I said, you can go to the contact page right up here. Once you go here, just put on your information. We'd love to help you get started today. Uh, one thing I will show you, a lot of people ask how hard is it to do? It's really not. You put your machine ID in here. <clears throat> There's a getting started video that shows you a walkthrough through all of the uh, categories that we have and also on the Discord. Then there's a newbie course. You go in here and it just takes you from A to Z. So if you're brand new to trading, you don't know anything about Ninja Trader, I have videos that will show you how to do all that and go through all of it. Then you have the setup instructions. The setup instructions telling you how to get into NinjaTrader to set it up for bots. It's real easy. And we have two import files, one for bots, one for indicators. And also the trading strategies, how we trade and, and what we're using. They give you an idea so you can mainly trade if you want or you can use the bots. Um, all the indicator tutorials, the bot tutorials, the perimeters inside the bot with all the settings. Uh, then we have settings that we use for the bots, which actually will probably do away with this because we're putting the settings in the templates of the bot, so you don't have to manually put them in. Then we have the live training that we do, and then troubleshooting. Any kind of troubleshooting you have, go here first before you ask questions because it's probably answered there. And then if you want to learn how to use Ninja Trader right here, and then we have our VPS here. Support tickets right here if you have any issues or anything. So let us know how we can help. Be um, glad to get you started today. We have a lot of new people coming in, and it's uh, we're going to start doing some more live training for the newbies and such. Let me know how I can help. Have a great day.